Hey guys, we're back here and uh, I've got Robert Knight and now John Chester, the man behind this film called Rock Prophecies. How did you have the idea for it? Well, actually a producer, uh, the producer of the film, Tim Kaiser, said, you know, I, uh, I just had this guy walk in my office who claims that he shot uh, Hendrix and Led Zeppelin and Stevie Ray Vaughan, et cetera, et cetera. He's like, I think you should go meet him. So I went down to meet Robert at the Sunset Marquee and uh, he went into this sort of like two hour story of his life and I actually brought a camera with me that day and it became kind of the 75% of the VO of the film. Very few people know that rock photographers influence who pop culture begins to see. Oh, yeah. Because if those guys pay attention, the right kind of rock photographer pays attention to them, we suddenly are like, oh, well they must be important. Yeah. Uh, and so we watched that process with two bands, uh, The Sick Puppies and Tyler Dow Bryant. John thought it would be really interesting to contrast this thing that I did 40 years ago with Led Zeppelin and predicting some of these other bands. And he sort of asked me to try to find a couple of artists that they could film real time while they were doing the documentary that they could see this process unravel. So it was really fortunate that we had Tyler and the Sick Puppies and the Answer and a few other bands sort of, you know, kind of, I was sort of helping him at the same time that that overlapped the documentary. His entire life has been about an obsession that has uh, involved him being next to and close to artists because he felt as a kid that he couldn't really be the artist. So he just wanted to be around art. And I thought it was wild how he expanded on that, that obsession and turned into a rock and roll photographer who has one of the world's most extensive rock archives. Mm -hmm. um, and then what I started to realize is that Robert's life is very much like that of these artists. They start out with these seemingly insignificant obsessions that when they expand on it, they become legends and we always go, how did that happen? Yeah. And so that's really what sort of drove us to do the film. Amazing stories. Uh, thank you so much for sitting down with us thank today. You. John, thank appreciate, you, appreciate it. it. All right, thank Robert, you, Robert. Thanks so much. And thank you guys for sticking around. We'll be back with more here momentarily. Eric V, Beta Records TV, see ya. So you want to know the synchronicity on this one? They got a band coming in after us called Carolina Liar. And that band was a guy that used to work for the puppies. I, I heard this band on the radio and I said to Paul, I said, who's this band? He goes, well, that's Carolina Liar. That guy used to make sandwiches and tea for the sick puppies when we were making our first <laughs> no record. Way. And I'm like, really? get out of here. He said, no, no, no. Well, he's leapfrogged ahead of the puppies now because this, this Carolina Liar is a really big deal now. Wow. Yeah, they're, oh, they're nice. Check hey, this boss. Out. Dude. How you doing? <laughs> so it's a true story. It's a, it's a total true story. <laughs> how are you? I just actually parked the car outside. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you doing? You, well, what was the story? Yeah, because the story. Yeah, I know. I was, uh, I mean, I was uh, basically a toilet cleaner and a runner and everything at that studio. I did literally everything there was to do. I was just basically the front desk and whatever they needed, if they needed strings or whatever, you know, any kind of gear that needed to be brought in, I was the dude. Wow. And, and I was always taking studio time in the morning working on this record. I wouldn't take anything back. I learned so much just like from actually getting down there and getting on your knees to, to get yeah. what you want. It's like, yeah. come on. Well, that's the thing in life. You got to do whatever yeah. it takes. Yeah. And you don't know what that is because some people, they would never go to work at McDonald's or Walmart or what. Hey, you know what? If that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. Say